What's happening, my Jack family? Coach Scott here, jackedafter40.com. Welcome to another episode of the Jacked After 40 Life Vlog. I'll be taking you along behind the scenes with me today, sharing every meal that I eat, footage from my shoulder and leg workout, and my overall active lifestyle. I got a special one coming at you today. My dad turns 68, so you're gonna get some behind the scenes footage from our celebrations today. We're gonna be going out for dinner. Share some footage from, we had a little outing the other day as well to celebrate his birthday, so a lot of good fun footage coming at you. Come along for a ride, let's have some fun. After watching that gorgeous sunrise, Chief and I got out for our morning walk and it was brisk out there. I think we're only gonna hit 70 degrees today and uh, that wind blowing off the lake is definitely chilly, but it's been a nice, it was kind of invigorating. It's kind of refreshing, a nice little break from the heat wave that we've had. Uh, the heat's gonna be returning in the next couple of days. So just enjoying this while it's here. And uh, it was just, it was a gorgeous walk, very peaceful. Uh, Chief cracks me up. There's this one couple that walks their dog in the morning as well. And the guy carries around treats uh, in a bag and Chief knows every time he sees him, he see Chief's tail starts wagging and runs up to this guy, sits pretty and shakes a paw and gets his his treats for the morning so just freaking adorable I uh, got home and had 300 milligrams of ashwagandha now I am enjoying my typical breakfast shake one cup of homemade kefir one cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk a scoop of protein powder one tablespoon of maca that's something that I have been adding uh, in the past three four weeks an ass load of spinach and a banana along with this I'm having 5,000 IU's of vitamin d3 300 milligrams of magnesium and three tablets of the uh, omegas, which has a combined EPA DHA of 2.7 grams. Lately, I've shared some videos of my dad in action, working out, and it's been fantastic hearing the compliments that he's been receiving about how great he looks, especially for his age. And it's really had me reflecting on how the meaning of body for life has evolved for me over the years. I mean, back in the day, it was when I was reading Muscle Media 2000, Body for Life first came out. It was all about transformation, transformation contest, and getting shredded. But seeing my dad in action, he's been training religiously every other day for decades. He'll, every other day he's working out, hitting the weights. After his workout, he's uh, on the EFX doing some cardio. So not only is he focused on maintaining and building his strength, but also his cardiovascular health as well, uh, which is important to him. He, at 68 years old, he's reached a milestone now where he's outlived his father. His father died young, so it's been great to see how my dad has been very proactive with his health, really monitoring his health, monitoring his health, heart health. My grandfather passed away from a heart attack, so he is really being aware, cautious and all that, taking all the necessary precautions. Uh, but to me, more than anything, it's been fantastic to see how decades of training every other day and making his health and fitness a priority has transferred over into living his best life possible. I mean, seeing the adventures that him and my mom are able to enjoy when they're away on vacations has been awesome. Seeing how active they've been with my children, their grandchildren, um, while they've been growing up has been incredible. And just see my dad in action, I mean, he has had, uh, he's put in a pretty busy year of work over at my sister's house. Uh, earlier in the winter time, he helped her lay a laminate flooring down, built uh, up her steps. Uh, now he's out there helping her lay out some interlocking stones, building up a beautiful patio in her backyard. Uh, he is just incredibly involved. He is just non-stop. He is, he's non-stop. He's someone who's going to, if you need help, he's going to drop anything um, and go lend a hand. Um, so it's just incredible to see what he's able to do, what he's able to achieve. Um, and I see other guys his age in their late 60s and they're struggling to get around. They're struggling with their weight. And here in my dad's 60s, I think this is the most consistent uh, his weight has ever been. He weighs about 155 pounds, so not far off from me. He's a fellow lightweight like me. And uh, I mean, like, like a lot of us, he's had some ups and downs over the years. Uh, like me in my late 20s, early 30s, where I gained that 50 pounds of fat, he's kind of gone through that same experience. Um, and he dropped that weight, and he's kind of been still similar experiences like many of us, but some ups and downs, ups and downs, but he's really, really maintained his weight incredibly well throughout his 60s. Uh, so that's been fantastic to me. So I just think he set a great example. It's a great reminder to me of 
that yeah i'm doing this for vanity reasons it feels great to look great to have my confidence at an all-time high but seeing how much my parents are able to enjoy their lives living life to the fullest uh in their late 60s and they're going to continue doing this for decades to come really it, it's kind of makes you realize that what we're doing has so much more meaning than than just vanity uh and that strength carries a much bigger meaning than just what you can lift on the bar it really transfers over into so many other uh, factors in life. So when I hear that bodybuilding isn't functional, seeing how my dad's able to function right now and how maintaining his strength and, and following a consistent training schedule for decades um, has really helped him. It just, man, it just it fuels my desire to continue striving to be my best. So thought I share that with you guys. Right now, it's time for me to get outside and give my best to this shoulder and leg workout. It's breezy out there, so I think I'm going to be bundling up. Like Geronimo, get dropped down like some dominoes Blues and greens and pinks, I got a lot of those Yeah, you know, talking slime, I can't relate to snakes I see a lot of foes Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, mo Head to toe, said you got your own style That's just slang for you, ain't got it though Talking like you got it, that's a problem I might let them know Feed you like I'm else or some, I look, 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 let it go Eeny, eeny, meeny, meeny, miny, mo Great freaking workout. I am gassed. Those walking lunges get me every time. And previous to that, hitting the high rep squats really get the get the heart pumping, the blood flowing, and have you sucking some wind. I ended up getting splashed a bit of water splashing over the break wall, so I'm glad the rest of the workout I was away from the break wall. Uh, so it's mostly shoulders today, a bit of legs. It's amazing, just two leg exercises, six sets in total. This is the third week on this August Jack That's 40 Club workout plan. And I've been feeling just that subtle little doms in the legs after just six sets. Then we hit the legs harder coming up on Friday, workout number five. Uh, so it's going to be three days between the leg workouts here. That's going to be, that's always a real test to, to see how we're feeling. But always smart with the exercise selection. We're never crippled. We're not hobbling around. We're playing it smart, uh, punishing the muscles in a strategic way um, that's going to spark the muscle growth, but still aids in recovery. Right now I'm getting ready to grab five grams of creatine in some warm water with meal. Then I'll have a post-workout meal coming up. Gonna keep it nice and light because I'm gonna be having a big meal tonight for my dad's birthday. Post-workout meal, I'm just gonna have 260 grams of plain Greek yogurt, 140 grams of frozen mixed berries, a little bit of cinnamon sprinkled on top there. So keeping the calories low, I'm under a thousand calories so far for the day. So leaving plenty of room, maintenance level calories for me is between 2,800, 3,000 calories. So um, I have no idea how much I'm gonna be consuming tonight. I'm not gonna be stuffing myself silly, but I'm gonna have plenty of room where I'm not even going to be worried. There's no concern. I'm not gonna be thinking about keeping my calories in check. I'm gonna be enjoying that meal to the fullest, um, eating to satisfaction, not stuffing myself or anything like that, because um, I get more enjoyment out of the meal when I am just savoring every bite and eating to that point of satisfaction. Eating to the point beyond satisfaction doesn't bring me any more pleasure, but really looking forward to the company and celebrating my dad's day. So I was all dressed up, ready to head to the door when I got a call from my mom. She got a call from the restaurant. Uh, there was a family emergency, so they had to close the restaurant down. So we're gonna have to reschedule our appointment. So it's a bummer for us, but uh, my heart goes out to the family. Positive vibes out of the way. Hopefully everything is okay. Um, so change of plans for me. <laughs> Took my clothes off, got into something a little bit more comfortable here. Uh, made dinner for myself. So just grab something quick. It was easy to grab a chicken breast out of the freezer, dice it up. Fry it up in the frying pan with a little fajita seasoning, uh, sweet potato, dice that up real quick, put a little olive oil on it and some salt, baked it in the oven for 40 minutes and steamed some asparagus. So, I mean, it's quick, easy preparation. Just the hardest part is waiting the 40 minutes for the sweet potato to cook. Absolutely freaking delicious meal, totally satisfying. So we'll see how I feel going through the rest of the day here. I think I'm still in a slight deficit after that. Uh, I'm sure I'm under 2,000 calories, so it's probably a, it's, 
it, maybe I'm around 2,000 calories. So it's uh, definitely in a deficit so far today, but I'm feeling pretty darn good. We'll see uh, We'll see how things go as the night rolls on. Chief and I are winding down for the day. I am spent. Uh, the day didn't go quite as planned, but uh, I hope you still enjoyed this footage. Uh, I am certainly grateful that I got together with my dad on Sunday two days ago where we celebrated his birthday. Uh, we had some smoked salmon then, some sweet potatoes, a great salad. We had some prosciutto wrapped asparagus, an incredible treat that is. Uh, and we enjoyed some great craft beers together. We enjoyed some IPAs from the Kona Brewery and we reminisced about our trip to Hawaii uh, last year and really kind of we're, we're dreaming about when the, the next opportunity we'll have to go back whenever the border opens. Uh, whenever we can travel again when these travel restrictions are, are lifted. Uh, so it was a great day then. I was really, really, as you can tell throughout this whole video, I was really looking forward to spending more time with uh, with my dad, with my family today. Um, but yeah, didn't go as planned. We'll make up for it. We'll reschedule that. Um, yeah, all in all, I'm feeling pretty good. I didn't eat anything else since that dinner. Uh, so definitely in a caloric deficit for today, which is going to work out just great for me. Uh, in a couple days, I'll be heading out to enjoy some treats. Uh, going to get one of those uh, chimney cones, cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon bun chimney cones from uh, Walkerville Chill. Uh, with my buddy Joe coming up in a couple days. That's our plan at least. And uh, yeah, so I got some room to play around with there. And I guess just for the most part, like in maintenance, muscle building mode, I prefer to um, stick as close to maintenance as possible. But uh, knowing that I'm going to be treating myself coming up and I'm not feeling all that hungry right now, I'm feeling satisfied, I'm just going to roll with it for today. So hope you enjoyed this footage. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. And share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback down in the comment section below. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, do him a favor and share it with them. And before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40, free seven-day sample meal plan in there. All different tips about my, my training split, lots of insights into how I like to take that punish and prod approach to training. So don't forget to download that and just have yourself an amazing day. I'll catch you in the next video.